uh, we are going to change the format very slightly for this final segment. Uh, we are going to have our panel, sort of panel sitting here discussion, and I'm going to hand over the responsibilities uh, for moderating and, uh, and uh, engaging the rest of the panel uh, to uh, Dr. Syed Ismail Shah, who's the chairman of the Pakistan Telecommunications Authority. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, so he talked about uh, change, innovation, and collaboration. So let's apply that. I would like you to change your position. I request you to stand up from your positions. So that's the change. Let's try to change. Uh, now, let's innovate. Let's innovate. Okay, so try to meet someone you have not met. That would be collaboration. Please meet someone that you have not met so far. Okay, thank you. That's enough. Now, please take your seats and let me. Okay, so thank you. I think it was it's the last session, and probably everyone needed that change and collaboration and innovation. Now, let me invite uh, Gabriel uh, to to speak from where he's sitting. Uh, Gabriel is the group director of Vion. Vion was formerly known as Wimplecom. Wimplecom, they uh, or Vion now they own. Jazz, Jazz was formerly known as Mobilink, so there is lots of name changes. So let's uh, hear Gabriel what he has to say. Thank you. Excellent. This is a wonderful forum for me to be able to attend as we discuss Vion, formerly Vimplecom, is uh, a owner of Jazz, but also is a partner with Jazz. My responsibilities inside of Vion are to help guide the company through a transformation. And that transformation is moving beyond just being a telecommunications company and moving towards being a technology and a product driven company. So it means that we have amazing partners like Jazz and the rest of the members of our group who are very much focused on how to be the best telecommunications company possible. But what we do is that we aid them by helping them to bring new products to market. And what I wanted to talk specifically about today is the way that, and we're all going to be very bored by data by the end of this session, but the way that data drives uh, differentiation within product development and the importance of platform. So for a very long time, Vion was very much focused on being the best telecommunica telecommunications company possible. And what that meant was we managed networks, we worked with wonderful vendors like Huawei and Ericsson and others, and we connected systems and integrated them well, and we managed those relationships and returned a tremendous amount of value to our shareholders. But over time, as the internet has expanded, as access to data has grown, as we've done our job very well, we've seen a fair number of partners and players come into the market who have, well, disrupted us. And in doing so, what they have done is that they've looked at, at core elements of our value prop, whether that is voice, whether that is messaging, whether that is even data itself, and they've sat there and said, we can do that better and cheaper. For us, one of the biggest challenges has been WhatsApp. So I, I would guess that if I asked everybody to the raise their hand in this room, they would say absolutely they have a WhatsApp account and they have probably sent a message over WhatsApp uh, today mm, 10, 15 times more than they've ever sent an SMS message. And I'm not gonna ask because I really don't wanna know the truth, but what I do know is, is that we very closely looked at that and said, we have to maintain our existing business. We have to grow our existing business. And it's one of the reasons the Jazz is one of the best operators in Pakistan. But at the same time, we need to acknowledge that our environments are changing and that the role of technology is changing. And our options are either to adapt or to be one of that 40% that uh, the previous speaker addressed. And so to do that, it requires us to engage in the transformation process where we stop being the manufacturers of networks and we stop looking at the ways that we work with vendors and we start actually thinking about how we create products ourselves. And to do that right in this day and age, you need to put together a combination of data and platform and services and you need to find new and innovative ways to distribute. So for us, in many ways, that looks like WhatsApp, but that's not enough. A lot of people can create those types of experiences. What we needed to find was a way to differentiate. And where we landed was is that 
for Vion to be able to differentiate itself amongst a sea of noise, whether it's in Pakistan, whether it is in Russia, wherever it is across the globe, for us to create a large audience and to open new, uh, new avenues of revenue, we needed to sit there and say, we need to create an open platform. And that's what we're in the process of doing. So what does an open platform mean? It means that we need to sit there and think about the technology that we provide. It's not just being, for example, Amazon, where their focus is, in, is on democratizing and reducing the cost of technology infrastructure. It's not being Facebook, where they provide you a huge amount of audience, but it's their audience and it's their customer. This is about sitting there and creating enabling technologies that are data driven and I'm sure my friend from SAP will enjoy that a great deal because they've been some of the leaders on that. And being data driven doesn't mean just sitting there and looking at raw data. It means taking the behavioral data that we discussed earlier and using that to create new types of applications and to make those applications available via a number of different interfaces. And those interfaces alone wouldn't be all that differentiated. A lot of people will tell you that they've got an API for this or an API for that. A lot of telecoms companies have sat there and done the same. But when we marry that with our ability to uh, allow users to store payments, when we marry that with the ability to provide distribution through our platform, and with that distribution we introduce them to audiences that are desperate for new types of services, for all of the new, that starts becoming interesting because what that means is that through platform and through the data that we have we create differentiation and that differentiation is going to be specific to our platform and frankly to any of you that engage on that journey you all are sitting on a mountain of data that is going to be really interesting and by sitting there and taking that data combining it with technology allowing new partners onto that platform and allowing them to combine it with the data that they have they will create differentiated products that are only available on top of your platform. And that's where the core of differentiation becomes. Because honestly, those of us who are looking for audience, we should be looking at as many platforms as possible. It shouldn't just be Facebook. It shouldn't just be Google. It shouldn't just be Amazon. Frankly, it shouldn't just be Vion. But what we should be looking for are partners that are going to allow us to create applications and new products that are specific to that platform because that is the way we drive differentiation and it's the way that we enhance value to the platforms themselves. So we're on that journey, we're just beginning, it's going to take us a while and it's about learning to exercise new muscles. It's going to mean working very tightly with our partners within the group and frankly with all of our partners across the globe. And it's going to be about introducing new players to the audiences that we've created and the audiences that we hope to grow. Um, I think it's very important finally, that we understand that as part of that, we need to be present and part of the countries that we operate in. So even in my journey here and working with the team at Jazz, I've been very specific with them. The platform we're building is not one that is built in Amsterdam and London. It is not built by an American from San Francisco. It is one in which we provide the tools and the technology to really localize that. And localization is not just about language. It's about allowing the content that's filled within the partners that come from out to be the drivers of that differentiation. It has to be something that feels organically as if it is a part of the culture in which we're operating in. And for us, the only way to do that is to by building this global platform. So thank you very much for having me here and I really appreciate it and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the session. Thank you, Gabriel.